In the wake of Martin Luther's Reformation, a prophet named Jan Matthias calls on members of the Anabaptist movement to flock to Munster for the second coming of Christ. After failing to get rid of the cultist, the Prince Bishop returns to lay siege to the city. God tells Jan Matthias that he would not be harmed, so he rides out to face the army. The prophet's head is put on a spike and his genitals are nailed to the city gate. Soon after, his disciple Jan van Leiden proclaims himself the real prophet, restoring the town's faith and leading them into further peril. Van Leiden mandates polygamy, kills challengers, and abolishes the right to own property. Under siege for over a year, famine breaks out and many die of starvation. When the Prince Bishop retakes Munster, leaders of the rebellion are captured, tortured, and killed with their corpses placed in iron cages for all to see for 50 years. The cages still hang to this day.